Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we will check out this alarm clock Wisecam case from Wasserstein. The Wisecams themselves are small enough that they don't really stand out, but if you want a discreet placement like a nanny cam, then this can be a good option. Now this is compatible to the Wisecam V3, but I'll also test this out and see if the V3 Pro will also fit. Inside the box, it comes with its own power adapter, 5 volts, 1 amp, and 2 meters or 6.5 feet of USB Type-C cable. Then we have the case itself. We have a user manual. The clock case is all plastic. In the front, we have an alarm button, clock, light and snooze, and plus and minus buttons, vent holes in the bottom. On the back, we have the USB-C port to power the camera and the clock. And if we remove the cover, this is the area we're putting in the Wise Cam. And it has a micro USB plug to power it. And we have these two latches to secure the camera. There is also a toggle switch for the clock's infrared light, auto or always on. Because we need to turn off the one from the camera and I'll show you why in a bit. And you can see it here on the side. Now let's slide in the Wise Cam V3 and turn the latches to secure the camera in place. And we'll plug in the micro USB plug to the power port to the camera. Tuck the wires in and replace the back cover. And let's plug in the clock. And yes, it works. We have to turn off the status light of the Wise Cam in the settings. But first, let's set the clock. Push and hold the clock button until it flashes. Using the plus or minus to select 24 or 12 hour display. Hit the clock again and let's adjust the time and it is set. It is the same process to set the alarm time. Let's open up the Wise app and you can see me clearly even when the camera is in the case. Now first thing that we need to do is turn off the camera's status light. Click the gear icon and go to the advanced settings. And as you can see the status light is on. Let's toggle it to off. And I'll turn off the lights to show you the night vision mode. And you can see the camera's infrareds are on. And on the camera's view you will see the infrared glare. And that's the reason why we need to turn it off. If not, you will have an unusable footage. When it is off and it just uses the clock's infrared light, we now have a clear, crisp image. So make sure to turn off the status light and the camera's infrared LEDs. And just keep the night vision to auto. Overall, it works. The only thing is that the design itself, which there is a big black space in the top area, and if someone sees it and just pauses a bit, they will eventually question why there's a big space in there. And you already guess what will be the first thing in their minds. But if they look closely, it is really hard to see that there is a camera lens in there. As to the V3 Pro, because it is the same size as the regular V3, it also fits. But when you plug in the micro USB plug, it sticks out a bit that when you close the back, it will close but there's a bit of a gap from the plug hitting the cover. So it is not really recommended for the V3 Pro, unless Washerstein updates and changes to an angled plug. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.